Understanding order of the day, exploring English phrases. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today, we're going to dive into a fascinating English phrase, order of the day. This phrase has both a literal and a figurative meaning, and understanding its usage can add a great deal of nuance to your English communication skills. So, let's explore what it really means and how you can use it effectively in your daily conversations. The phrase, order of the day, originally comes from a parliamentary context. In this setting, it refers to a scheduled agenda or list of items to be discussed and dealt with in a parliamentary session. This agenda is usually set and followed strictly to maintain order and efficiency. For example, in a meeting or a formal gathering, you might hear, let's proceed according to the order of the day. This means that the group will follow the pre-planned schedule or agenda. Beyond its literal use, order of the day is often used figuratively to describe something that is common, typical, or popular at a certain time or in a particular context. This usage is more metaphorical and can be applied to various situations in daily life. For instance, if someone says, wearing masks is the order of the day, they mean that wearing masks is a common or standard practice in the current situation. To solidify your understanding, let's look at a few examples. 1. In a business meeting, the order of the day is to finalize our marketing strategy for the next quarter. 2. In fashion, bright colors are the order of the day this summer. 3. In technology trends, in today's world, smartphones are the order of the day. These examples show how versatile the phrase is and how it can be adapted to different contexts. I hope this exploration of the phrase, order of the day, has been enlightening and adds a new dimension to your English vocabulary. Remember, language is not just about words but the context in which they are used. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.